Hey everyone, welcome to another Airbrush Asylum live stream. Today we want to show you a completed project, a cassowary artwork that we recently did, and also our latest project that we're working on, which is the Viking themed Harley. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off with the cassowary artwork. So we'll flip the camera around. So this is the completed artwork here. It's probably a little, approximately A4 sort of size. Now this is done on an aluminium composite panel. Um, I've done this using a uh, Segola airbrushes. So we've tested the, uh, the Segola airbrushes on this piece just to see how they work. So I used the XTEC 200 with a 0.2 mil needle as well as the XTEC 300. The paint that I used was a combination of Trident water-based paint as well as Createx illustration colours, all right? So, and with both of those paints, you're able to, um, especially the Createx illustration colours, you can manipulate them. So using an eraser pencil, I manipulated some of the effects. You can see there the scratching and even some of the highlights there, they're done with an eraser pencil, as well as freehand airbrushing and, um, yeah, just uh, some masking techniques as well. I did film this for a, a, an up-and-coming how-to, so I'm going to spend a bit of time editing that and do a voiceover and get that one out so that all you guys can check that one out once that is complete. The next thing we're working on is, and we're also filming this one, we'll just see how the video goes, but it is a Viking-themed Harley. So we'll just move over here. I've just started. So the back guard's um, been sketched out and now I'm just freehanding in a rough sort of underpainting. So you've got like a skeleton with the, the swords crossed there and some other skulls, like a bit of an underwater sort of theme there and then it goes up, a dragon's coming out of the water and attacking the Viking ship, if you can see it there. Just get bit closer there. So I've used a chalk pencil to mark all this out and then I've put a SG100, just an intercoat clear by House of Colour over the top. The reason for that is just to seal the chalk in so that when I continue to airbrush um, the air isn't going to blow the chalk away. All right, So that just protects my sketch. You can see there the dragon's head so I've got quite a bit of work to do. So I am filming this, we'll see how this one turns out and then I'll probably turn this into a bit of a how-to as well, so you can see how this one's done. Um, I've also started to sketch out the front guard or the front fender for everyone that's not from Australia. And you can see the, the warrior there, the big heavy weapon. So we're going to have some pile of skulls underneath his feet there and some undead soldiers in the background, so I've still got to do all that. And then we've got the tank as well, which is going to get some artwork on either side. All right, so we'll do one side. There'll be a, um artwork on that side and on the other, just within that panel there, because the customer wanted to keep the actual pinstripe there. Now, all these parts have been prepared by our painter using 1,200 wet and dry sandpaper. So he's prepped everything, rubbed it all nice and smooth. Um, you can see it's taken the shine off it, so you got some adhesion. Before we do any of the sketching and obviously the airbrushing, we prep sole and clean everything um, using both a solvent and a water-based cleaner. All right. And we've got our camera hooked up there to our screen so we can make sure everything's in focus and we don't block the camera while we're painting. So that's the current projects on at the moment. So just well underway with that Harley. After that one, we've got another tank, another Harley tank that we're working on, which will be a Grim Reaper sort of sitting in a, in a rocking chair. So, But the cassowary, yeah, that's all done and that's all been filmed. So hopefully soon I'll be able to release that as another how-to. All right, so let's just spin this around. There we are. So there you have it. Only a quick one today. Thanks again for joining us. If it's your first time here, we do lots of um, airbrush insight, showcase, how-to, step-by-step, as well as live streaming generally once a week. We're going to try and do more and more. Um, so hopefully you enjoy this sort of content. If it is something that you're interested in, 
by all means, feel free to hit subscribe. We're constantly trying to put out more and more videos for you guys. Um, so just keep a tab on it and subscribe. That'll get you, if you hit the bell um, icon, it'll notify you every time we put out a new video and then you can um, be up to date with everything that we do. So hopefully this video has inspired you to create some more amazing artwork uh, through your airbrushing journey. And we'd like to see you next week for another live stream. And we're going to work hard to get you some how-to videos very, very soon. Thanks for joining us. And we will catch up with you soon.